Okay, YouTube, I understand that unboxing is a thing. Well, I'm going to do unboxing archaeology style. This here box of books and magazines I found in the front seat of a 1952 or 3 um, Dodge that was sitting out in uh, the state that I've been working with lately. And as I grabbed the box that it was in, it just disintegrated and stuff started falling all over the place. So um, I grabbed another box, threw the stuff in there, and I want to sort through it here. So and there's a bunch of Reader's Digest from the 60s. That's kind of nothing. Here's a World Almanac from 1948. That's in pretty amazing shape, I must say, for 1948. Uh, let's see, NBH Fall and Winter Catalog, 1967-68. This thing's cool. Got your shoes. You got your fashion. That is really fun. Ooh, the new towels are in. Excellent. What a great resource for somebody that's into stuff of the period. And check that out. Or your new Schick Razor, $28.98. Wow, that was a lot of money. Dig that. Oh, you've got your cats. Two for $2.99. Your light up inspirational Jesus. Where do I order? Got your guns, got your bicycles. <laughs> Stylish. All right, we'll move on. Now this will take forever. Uh, we've got some US News and World Report, 70s and 60s. Let's see, California Farmer, Amendments to the Constitution. Your special financial forecast. Have you saved for your future? Oh, wow. Check this out. This is actually like a whole... Uh, a astrology-based investment thing that was done for somebody. <laughs> That's going to be pretty fun to look at. Huh. Success Digest. How to cut your liquor bill in half. Let's see, American astrology. What to look for in 1959. Liberty Amendment. Freedom Magazine. Love that. Tools and ideas for the salesman of liberty. tax must be repealed. New aids to understanding capitalism. Hmm. 1956, what's next? Look at that new mysticism versus occultism. Wow. The mood of America today. April 20th, 1970. I wonder how the mood of then compares to the mood of now. Uh, get your income tax forms. Oh, here's some cool stuff. Here we go. Phoenix, Arizona. Sightseeing center. That's some early Arizona stuff there. All right. This is my kind of stuff here. Motor Roads Map of California Complements and Beacons. Wow, check out those moving bins. This is early. This is probably, I don't know, what, 30s? I would guess. 20s or 30s? Oh, that is totally cool. 
that one I'm definitely pulling aside. The Provoker. This is out of Canada here in 1966. Our country right or wrong. Technocracy Incorporated. Hmm. Very cool. Arizona Valley of the Sun map. Nautilus, November 1934. Our economic hell and how to rise out of it. Think about that. Just post depression, the mood of everything going on. This might be an interesting thing to read. Hmm. National Motorist. Oh, another automobile club thing. Motor industry produces the finest cars. Fantastic. Look at that Lincoln. Hot damn. Hmm. This is what, 1941. Oh, here's another Nautilus from the 30s. Astrology Guide, 1962, Year of Crisis. 1962, hold your beer. Watch this. Welcome to 2020. Uh, let's see. Kohler, electricity for every need. Sixty-three. Hmm. Yes, Deborah Ann. I agree. Our fixed bayonets with, with troops necessary in this land of freedom. Wild. Well, somebody was planning on traveling or moving to Phoenix. I guess. There's a good touring guide, another automobile club thing. Looks like the rats have gotten to that. Oh, that's pretty fun. Allstate travel log. You know, some of these things are fantastic to like throw in the glove box of your vintage car at a show. I love that kind of stuff. Got church pamphlets. That's what that is. Got a map of the world, it appears. The Alexander Hamilton Institute. The creation of a selling organization. Hmm. Some business tips. The thinker. Portrait of an egotist. Man, there's a bunch of interesting stuff in here. If you see something that you'd like more info on, definitely uh, let me know in the comments. Let's see. It's a fairly big box. This estate where everything was found is, is really a phenomenal place. Um, this gentleman saved everything. He was, he was definitely a bit of a hoarder. Um, and everything had a purpose, everything had a reason for holding on to it. And as a result, it's been a phenomenal place to dig and find treasures. And some of the stuff that's come out of it, uh, we've posted here on YouTube, but there's so much that we haven't. Uh, it's acres and acres of stuff that we're going through. You got your driver's handbook. I swear this is the one that I had when I took my driver's <laughs> lesson. Or Phoenix Maps. Know thyself. All right, what have we got here? Earl Lederman. Ooh. I wonder who this guy was. Was he trying to be the Jack LaLanne or the... Definitely had some muscles going on. Uh, 
ditch it. All right. Not sure what this is here. Orange plan. Economic democracy. Here's some of these little hand drawings. Oh, it's on the back of the box that had light bulbs in it. Hmm. Here's some more uh, science of business building. Like almost a whole school's worth of stuff in there for that. The Watchtower. Your Unitology Forecast. Hmm. Farm Journal. How to make your fed beef worth more. Cool, cool track. Another great vintage map. Look at that. Awesome. I'll speed up the process here so you're not sitting watching for half an hour. New International Encyclopedia. Issues of the Provoker. There you go, a little local TV guide from Stater Brothers. Vehicle code 1966. What do you have here? Up to date electroplating handbook. Absolutely crazy variety of stuff. And what's weird is I don't know if all of this came from you know, one place. Uh, some of it has some addresses on it. Like here's Pomona, California. I saw other stuff that's Anza, California. And where did Clem get this? Why did he keep it? And how long was it sitting in the front seat of that rusty Hulk car? Technocracy. Some cool graphics on this stuff. Let's see. More pictures of Earl Lederman. Muscle man. <laughs> Too red. <laughs> Color stuff. Wonderful and fascinating exercise. The pupil's interview with his own ghost. An easy way to overcome all bashful, bashfulness and timidity. Huh. Rad. <laughs> I love it. Local climatological data. Fellowship of the Order of Christian Mystics. Let's see, book on house wiring. We're getting down to some kind of crusty stuff. The Technocrat. Check that out. Hmm. Very cool. Some of these are pretty raunchy. That's definitely going in the trash. This stuff towards the top of the box got the worst damage just from sun coming in through the window of the car. Fortunately, it was all out of the rain, though. It did a good job of that. Looks like somebody's schoolwork from back in the day. You will require 
Hmm. Oh, this is more horoscope stuff. It's like a whole coursework on astrology. Oh, it's kind of coming apart. Hmm, another great period map. Look at that. Automobile Club of Southern California. That's a keeper. Getting down to the bottom here. More investment security, lots of business tips and course books, statistics. Hmm. Some of these little ledger books here. love seeing old advertising, seeing the way that they did everything back in the day. There's an awful lot to learn about it. And just the amount of art, hand-drawn stuff that was done. Now everything is so computerized. You know, the artist that holds a pen is, is no longer as important as he used to be in the 60s. So it's kind of a shame. Oh, here we go. From the Cheyenne Chamber of Commerce. Huh, something from the Frontier Day Committee. So this must be a whole lot of stuff. On Wyoming. Yeah, check that out. Wyoming Wonderland. Kind of a tourism thing, perhaps. Try to get some more people out to Wyoming. I love it. Right, got some more world reports. Here's another Auto Club item. Traffic Ordinance 1927. That's another really nutty thing, is that there's stuff in this box from the 20s up to the 60s. It makes no sense, several different addresses on it. But this stuff has been sitting in that car for decades. Lots of political stuff, interesting. Awake. Malawi's anti-Christian atrocities. A shame on Africa. Catholic Church in the modern world. Let's see. Final statistics. The Anza Electric Co-op newsletter. <laughs> That's rad. In the 60s. Another astrology thing. Somebody was a thinker with all of these kind of books. Here we go. Here's from 1913. Or actually 1914 this book was published. So from 1914 up into the early 70s, all in the same box. A variety of subjects. all of it a bit of a mystery so there you go that's unboxing if you saw anything you want let me know because it's all gonna go somewhere thanks for watching <laughs>